Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Doug Fisher, editor in chief of Ring Magazine. I'm watching G Funky Boxing. Funky Boxing here with Doug Fisher. What's going on, Doug? What's up, G Funky? Hey, thanks for taking the time, man, before the show starts here. Thanks for being here. Yeah, man, it should be a good card, man. Um, I want to ask you, did you see uh, the fights early today? What do you think of Zerto? Zerto, and, 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 I think Zerto, I listen, Zerto did the best he could against just a, 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 a superior boxer. Um, at the end of the day, listen, listen um, I thought Zerto presented some um, physical challenges that Canelo Alvarez couldn't present to, to Bivol. Uh, Zerto's almost six foot, what, he's like six foot three? Yeah, he's big. And, yeah. and he's one of them, you know, he puts on a lot of weight. And he's a southpaw. And he's rangy, right? So it's like, okay. Just, there's, you know, he's a natural light heavyweight, even though he started at 168. He had to move up to 175, and he probably rehydrated to like 190, 195. Yeah. So he's a big dude, but it didn't matter. Um, at the end of the day, Zordo is a top light heavyweight, and Vival is a top rated pound for pound yes, fighter, sir. meaning he's elite. He's one of the best. He's one of the ten best fighters in the world right now. Yeah. And if you didn't, if you didn't realize that after he he outclassed Canelo, I think you can see it now. Yeah. His his reflexes, his athleticism, his uh, his footwork, which he utilized it, but he didn't really need it. Like he was doing just fine standing right in front of Zerto. So yeah. you know, um, if, if he wasn't on a boxing fan's radar, I think he probably opened a lot of eyes because I. I thought he was brilliant. I thought he won easily nine rounds. Yeah. Easily nine yeah. rounds. Nine to ten was about. Uh, yeah. Attitude. If you had it, yeah. The, yeah. the official scorecards were correct. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So. Uh, I want to ask you. And about what I'm saying is, it doesn't. I, it doesn't just because Ramirez was outclassed by this guy, doesn't mean he won't beat most light heavyweight contenders out there. Yeah. Or that he couldn't give Artur Beterbiev a hell of a fight. Yeah. I favor Better BF because he's Better BF's a killer. Yes, he is. But it actually might be that could be like an awesome, like like a more uh, entertaining type fight. More yeah, I, I think that fight yeah. could be more like what some fans were expecting this fight to be. Right. Yes, yeah. I think with Be but, but Terbiev, it'd be more violence. Yes. Him versus Ramirez. Yeah. And who knows what happens between Bivol and and, and Viterbiev. But Bivol, I mean, for my money, he's the best. 175 pounder out there. Yeah, he's he's and he's, legit pound for pound.